Assalamu alaikum. Now we are going to make rainfall map using two different interpolation methods. Number one, IDW and number two, Kriging. Also, we will explain basic differences and detailed differences between these two interpolation methods with practical example. Now let's get started. We need shape file of our study area and the point data of the weather stations where we collect the rainfall data. We are adding the shape file of our study area. Our study area is United States of America. Now we are adding the XY data of the weather stations. The weather station xy data is in the sheet number 1. x field represents longitude and y field represents latitude. We are selecting the geographic coordinate system as WGS 1984. Click OK. When we have our study area shape file and weather station xy point data, then we need to assign the rainfall measurement for each weather station before adding the rainfall data with the weather station we need to export the point data of the weather station as shape file we are exporting the xy data as point shape file we are removing the previous one Let's check the attribute table of the weather station. We have the state name and corresponding latitude longitude for the weather station points. Now we need to assign the rainfall data with the corresponding weather stations. Before adding the rainfall data, let's check the sheet. We have rainfall measurement in millimeters for each state weather stations. Now we are adding the rainfall measurement with the corresponding weather stations. Right click on the shape file layer. Go to joins and relates and join. Here choose join attributes from a table. We must choose the field in this layer that we want the join will be based on. After that we must choose the field in this layer that we want the join will be based on. We are selecting the base as state name. Now we need to choose the table to join to this layer rainfall data. So choose the field in the table to base the join on click ok the attribute table is ready with rainfall data we have the rainfall measurements now we can run the interpolation operation so go to search option and type idw click search and select idw special analyst our input point feature is ws the weather stations our jet value is the rainfall measurement in millimeters we will save it to our desired folder rain id we can also determine the number of points for the operation we are keeping it as 12 
we can also use the barrier option if there is any barrier such as cliff or stream for making rainfall mapping we don't have any barrier now we need to set the environment the processing extent will be as same as our study area and the raster analysis section we need to set the mass as same as our study area click ok okay now we have the rainfall map using the idw interpolation this time we will make this rainfall map using the creaking method go to search option and write creaking and select creaking special analyst our input point features is the weather stations and our dead value field is our rainfall in millimeters we can do the creaking method using ordinary method or universal method we will do it using the ordinary method and there are several models for creaking method spherical circular exponential but we are keeping the spherical semi variogram model we are keeping number of points 12 and setting the environment processing extent will be as our study area and the raster analysis mask will be as same as our study area click ok we have got our rainfall map done by rigging interpolation map this is our idw interpolated rainfall map and this is our rigging interpolated rainfall map there is difference between these maps if we zoom to this place we can see that there is huge difference this is idw rainfall map idw works based on inverse weighted distance that's mean the weight decreases with the distance increases let's on the level features see that this point has the value 15 to 8 millimeters but after some distance the value diminishes this point this point and this point are in the same class but between these three points there is a different class is remaining it is because the weight of this three point decreases as the distance increases from these points that's why there are a different class appearing between these three points when we see this thing in the creaking method we see that for this similar character points there is a homo characteristic area it is because creaking method determines the unknown points based on the spatial correlation that's why in this area it gives the special correlations of these three points and that's why there is no entrance of the another class. IDW works with inverse distance weight so the value decreases and the weight of this point decreases with the distance but the craiging gives the special correlation so the correlation and characters of this points preserved with distance and this is also for applicable for this point and this is why between this area fire idw did not preserve the special correlation but the pegging interpolation method gives the special correlation between this point and it gives the same special characteristic for these homo characteristics three points hope you have understand it very well thank you very much for watching the video that's it for today Allah Peace. Assalamu Alaikum.